I just sat down to write an article for the Classic Motorbike Net website and instead I thought I'll do a video instead. So, hi I'm Scott. This is a picture of a bike that me and two of my friends put together in 2005. We had a bit of fun with it and we're going to write about it and uh, document it on the website for next year. If you look over here We've got it back. Again, all the uh, twists and turns I'll be going through and putting up as content and some video as well. But I just thought I'd uh, show you what we got. So this is going to be the first of our sort of project bikes and bikes that we have some fun with and get out to some events next year, which I'm just trying to put into place at the moment. But since it's December the 1st, everyone's got their head up there bottoms for Christmas so that might have to wait a little while but here she is it's a GSX 1100 ET talking of ET there you go um, it was a bike that bought in 2005 we stripped rebuilt it raced it crashed it everything happened to it but as I said it's come back to us um, gonna be changing a few things with it I've been picking loads of stickers off for the last couple of weeks. You can see, it's took the paint with it as well. But I'm not, not the sort of thing that bothers me, to be honest with you. Um, got some plans, but the bike is all on the button, ready to go. Don't be fooled by all the headlights and everything. It's not actually road legit at the moment. It was back in the day, and that is something we're going to do again. Once we get a number plate made up. There you go. We're going to be leaning on these guys quite heavily. The guys over at Grumpy 1260. Uh, who specialise in a lot of this stuff. And it's funny enough where a lot of the parts came from originally. Um, so yeah. There it is. Just a quick look at it. Look at those clocks. You don't get clocks like that nowadays, do you? Steering lock even works. But we're not going to strip it down or nothing daft like that. It doesn't need it, to be fair. Um, we've just got a few jobs that we want to get done, say, over the winter. So it's ready for the spring. And we can get it back on the road and have some fun. You might notice it's leaning up against the wall. That's going to be... Uh, a common sight because it's got no bracket for a side stand. Again, that's another story we'll tell you on another day. So yeah, it's going to be like one of those sort of bikes you order. We're rolling in and looking for a wall to dump it against, which I think is pretty cool. So keep your eye on the site. Uh, we've been posting some stuff. We've got a YouTube channel that we're we're just sort of sorting out as well. Basically lots of stuff going on behind the scenes so that we can hit the ground running after the, uh, the big man's been. So stay tuned. <laughs> 